Hello children, welcome to Foundation Stage 2 Arts and Crafts Lesson 26. Lesson Objectives Learners will be able to promote innovation, creativity and develop their fine motor skills. Enhance problem solving. Promote stress relief. Convey ideas. Express emotion. Use their senses. Explore color. Explore process and outcomes. Today, we will learn about abstract art. Children, what is abstract art? Abstract art is modern art which does not represent images of our everyday world. It has color, lines and shapes, but they are not intended to represent objects or living things. Often, the artists were influenced by ideas and philosophies of abstraction. Purely, abstraction art is a 20th century invention. Materials needed are sketch pens and an A4 sheet. Hello kids! Welcome to another art lesson. Today, I want to talk about abstract art, which means we're going to have another class on modern art. This period in modern art is really fun because we don't really have to be tied to anything. We have no constraints. We can just do whatever we want. That's the beauty of abstract art. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy. I mean, there are discussions about it, but that, that's not our topic right now. In this particular video, you don't need to try to draw the exact same thing that I'm drawing because it's abstract art. It's about our feelings and our imagination. So we can all draw something else, whatever we feel like, because we're just going to be putting forms, colors, shapes and lines and dots on our paper. And that's the essence of abstract art. In abstract art, images do not represent everyday objects or living things or anything we can recognize easily. They are just formed out of lines, colors, and shapes to evoke feelings and expand imagination. Abstract art, like most of the modern art periods, started at the beginning of 1900s. But instead of Europe, this art style was emerging from New York. One of the first abstract painters was Kazimir Malevich. He painted a black square. Yeah, you heard me right, just a black square in 1913. Another famous abstract painter was Vasily Kandinsky. And some of the others were Piet Mondrian, Jackson Pollock and Paul Klee. Even Pablo Picasso experimented with abstract art. I mean, we talked about Pablo Picasso in our Cubism video. You already know that he loved to experiment and changed his style over time. Here are some quick facts to summarize this lesson. Abstract art began and noticed around 1900s, especially in New York. Abstract art do not represent the real things that we see around in our everyday life. It uses colors, dots, lines and shapes to make images that express feelings and expand imagination. Most of the abstract paintings are usually very large. In traditional art, we have a focal point in our art piece, which is the center of attention. We always try to drive the attention to one part of the image, but abstract art is quite the opposite. It doesn't have a focal point, so there is no center of attention in our art piece. Images and lines and forms are all scattered around our painting. And for the last, Abstract artists are usually easily recognized from their styles. So if you look at a painting and if you know abstract art, there's a good chance that you're gonna know who made that painting. And that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and hope to see you in the next one. Now go ahead and create your abstract painting and just do whatever you feel like. Reflection time. Do a creative abstract art with a different design you like and don't forget to share your videos and photos. Thank you.